Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to uh, Glasgow the City Halls. Here, it's an absolute pleasure to be back here in 2014 as we get ready for the next defence of Ricky Burns' WBO lightweight title against the undefeated Terence Crawford on March the 1st at the SECC and uh, we can't wait to get cracking. Firstly, I want to thank everybody as always. You know, this is uh, our third straight show in, in Glasgow and it's an absolute pleasure to come here, not just because of the support we get from the people, but from the media as well and all of you guys here today, we really appreciate it. A lot's been said, obviously, since Ricky Burns' last fight and um, now, I feel as though he's had a lot of unjust criticism um, regarding that fight. Everybody saw the fight, you judge it how you judge it. Um, but at the end of the day, Ricky Burns gets in there and fights, that's what he does. He went through that fight with 10 rounds of a broken jaw. Um, I don't know how he even got through the fight. Um, regardless of the decision, he's still the WBO light world, light, lightweight champion of the world. And um, you know, I believe that uh, he should have a huge amount of respect from the fans all over the world, from everything he's given to the sport of boxing. Now we have a new challenge, the undefeated Terence Crawford. In my opinion, the toughest fight of Ricky's career so far. He's the golden boy of the top ranked stable, he's the golden boy of the HBO and the light, in the lightweight division. And uh, he's a very, very tough test, but I don't think he's ever been in with anyone like Ricky Burns, who for this fight is, I believe, more motivated than ever, more hungry than ever. Um, and you know we're going to do everything we can and Ricky's going to do everything he can to make sure that this belt stays in Glasgow. I think this is a, a test that requires a huge amount of hard work from Ricky which we know he's going to put in. It requires the support of the people of Glasgow and Scotland. I want everybody to get behind Ricky Burns for this fight. He needs it more than ever. Um, it's a great fight and uh, we can't wait for the night itself. In terms of the bill, one fight which I'm, I'm very, very pleased to make, and um, if, you, if you're a social media follower or a Twitter follower, you would have seen a lot of uh, back and forths going on over the last couple of months. Stephen Simmons will defend his WBC international title against Wadi Camacho. Um, you know, they've had a lot of, of banter back and forth, and I think this is a fight that a lot of people want to see. I think stylistically it's a wonderful fight. Two very talented cruiserweights in, in a thin division domestically in a thin, thin division uh, globally as well and a great opportunity for the winner of that fight to, to move on um, to certainly British but more importantly British and world honours um, and that's going to be an absolute barn, barnstormer. I'm delighted of course to welcome the Olympic champion, heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua who will be making his first appearance in Scotland as we get underway in his journey to become the heavyweight champion of the world. He's a great talent. Um, already a big name in the world of boxing and uh, you know we can't wait for the people of Glasgow to see him in action as we continue his development. As far as the, the bill is concerned, um, big step ups for a lot of Scottish fighters. David Brophy will be taking his first title fight on the bill, looking to win the Celtic super middleweight title. Michael Roberts looking to step up in his first title fight. John Simpson, um, Scott Cardle will face Paul Appleby. The young Martin Ward, another matchroom star as well, is going to be making the trip up here and we're also looking to bring another matchroom name onto the bill in due course. Tickets will go on sale at 1 o'clock today from ticketsuit.com and again, we ask for the whole of Glasgow, the whole of Scotland to get behind Ricky Burns in what I believe is his, his toughest fight yet. Um, and now I'm going to pass you over to the champion to say a few words. I'd like to welcome back, making another defence of his world title. Please give us a round of applause for Ricky Burns. I just can't wait to be climbing back through the ropes. Um, we've been back hard training now for the last six weeks. Um, I know everybody was saying that, especially after the last fight, that the uh, Belgium deserved the rematch. That was the fight I wanted, but there's nothing I can do. And I feel I've got a tougher fight in front of me now um, in terms of drop -off. Um, stylistically, he's very, very good, and I know myself I'm going to have to definitely bring my A game. Um, so, so, fingers crossed, I can pull it off on the night, but it's going to be a good night. Thanks, Ricky. I think it's important to just expand on what Ricky said about Terence Crawford. I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of, of hearing from him, to be honest with you. After that fight, um, all of our intentions, and I think Ricky's to, to really set a record straight, was to fight Terence, sorry, to uh, Ray Beltran, not Terence Crawford. 
um, to fight Ray Beltran immediately after that fight. We did everything we can. I made him a huge offer, um, interestingly, well beyond the numbers that were in his designated options for, for his first contract. Um, but Top Rank, who promote both fighters, had their own agenda. And the agenda was Terence Crawford is the golden boy. Um, we're going to push him forward. So they pushed him forward. He got his mandatory position. And the only way that Beltran fight could take place is if Top Rank allowed it. And, and they chose um, for Crawford to fight. Um, he's the one that obviously, you know, they're pushing. He's the one they see as the future of the division. And he's the one that's going to get his wish to fight Ricky Burns. And, you know, beyond that, maybe we can look at the Beltran fight in the future. But, you know, now, after Ricky's disappointment at not fighting Beltran, like he said, he's got a much, much tougher fight and a much harder fight uh, in Crawford. And I'd like to pass over to Billy Nelson, Ricky's long-term trainer, to say a few words about the preparation and the fight that he believes, what kind of fight Ricky will be in, and obviously preparing for, for the big night. Uh, we've been in training now for about four or five weeks. Uh, training's gone really well. We've, we've, had, we've changed a few things in training. We, we've included a, a strength and conditioning trainer, which I think has been fantastic for Ricky. Uh, with, with regards to this fight, this, this fight's going to be a fantastic fight. In my opinion, it's both fighters' hardest fights in their careers. Uh, Terence Crawford is a really, really talented boy. He's coming over here full of confidence, he's undefeated. But uh, Ricky Burns will be equally as confident. You know, this, this is, I think, his eighth or ninth uh, world title defence. He's every reason to be confident. And we have a fantastic crowd behind us in Glasgow. A confident, uh, an excellent victory. Thanks, Billy. And uh, Anthony, and obviously you're out February the 1st, live on Sky Sports as well, in Cardiff, and then you'll be straight up here for the, the fight in Glasgow. I know you've heard about, I was telling you about the uh, the Scottish fans. Yes. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I haven't boxed out here before, so it'll um, be my first time boxing. It'll be an honour to box on the champs, uh, in the champs bill. And um, obviously I've got to get through my first bout, March 1st, no, February 1st, sorry, in about three weeks. So uh, and then I'll be straight up here for uh, four weeks after that. Obviously I had a little shoulder injury. It was only a nerve, nothing serious, and um, which held me out for two of my bouts in 2013. But I'll be full steam ahead so there'll be no more put outs and as I said get through this bout in three weeks and I'll be back up here soon so I'll see you guys soon. Thank you and uh, David, time for a step up for you. You've had a couple of fights now in Ricky's field and are you ready for your first title fight? Yeah, I'm a bad fight from the chance, yeah. I've got a title, so 10 rounds and I think me and Bally always say that if I go away 10 rounds it's going to be the better fight in the world than to do so I'm looking forward to training hard for a 10 rounds or and Michael, same for you as well, in, in the division, obviously he's got some Scottish talent as well, and Josh Warrington winning recently, and, and Lee Selby fighting uh, Raymond Monroe, potentially for a start coming up soon. It seems that he's been very good for the opportunity, but he's had a big show, so as long as he's gone, on the lead, and he might have and uh, what if, you know, big fight for you, obviously, coming off a win at the XL and you lost to Conquest. I know this fight's talked, been talked about for a long time and uh, people talked about whether it happened in London or Scotland, but obviously you've made a trip up. Uh, I know you're excited about the fight. Yeah, well, it's definitely, I uh, just want to say, very grateful, you know, to be on the show, uh, up to underneath uh, Ricky Burns' show. And, uh, basically, I'm, I'm here to do business, you know, I didn't come here with my manager, or with my team, my friend, I've come here by myself, you know, on the 1st of March, I'm getting in the room by myself, and I'm obviously going to be doing business as a property. Stephen, I know, uh, you know, it's a, it's a fight you, you've wanted as well. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say, yeah, uh, thanks to my sponsors, uh, Johnny Nice Capital, then Woodruff, and Dermot Fortnite Trucks, and uh, Jim Colin. Also, thanks to my team, Danny Bond, great coach, Mungo Kenny, strength conditioning, and, uh, also, Alec Lawrence is doing a great job with me, and thanks for looking at the show. Uh, it's great to be on a great bill again uh, here up in Scotland. Ricky Burns to defend his world title again, and uh, the future star uh, heavyweight boxing, Anthony Joshua. So it's going to be great to share a night with him. But on the uh, Wadi, he doesn't even deserve a shot. He's uh, every time he stepped up, he's uh, he's got beat, and the only reason he's up here now in Scotland is because he got beat. And Wadi, look at me right now. 
Smart. 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 Bum, look at me. Who, who's talking? The cooking you're monster. You're disrespectful. You went personal. Cooking monster. You're not a horrible, horrible, horrible person. Keep I'm going to rub your head off. Cooking monster. Keep Listen, you want to go off the car park? No. I'll rub your head off right now. Come in your backyard. I'm going to yeah, take you to the car park. Yeah, you're going to go home in a coma. You're going to go home in a coma. You're a horrible, horrible person. Relax. I'll rub your head off. Relax, cooking monster. I'm going to rub your head off. You're a horrible cookie monster. Cookie monster. Cookie monster. Cookie monster. Listen to you. Okay, we'll see. 